Salam and hello everyone and welcome to my video. My name is Amri Hussein and I am an artist. I specialise in Arabic calligraphy also and I uh, live in Leeds and I have two children. I was inspired to do Arabic calligraphy through reading the Quran as a young girl. The Quran comes in many different scripts, the eldest one being the Kufic script but a Nak script came out to cancel out all the other scripts because it is more easy to read and write in the Nak script. Today I'm going to show you how to write the word Allah, which means God to many Muslims. And this, this is the easiest word, the most repetitive word that is used. I will begin by using my wooden column pen you can have the different sizes, some wipes that we need, some pots with some ink, but I use powdered ink, so you can add a drop of water to that, a ruler, a pencil, some liquor, which is some silk thread that you use, only a tiny bit, so it absorbs some of that ink and you don't dribble. A marker for those who are not comfortable with the column, but the column does give a satisfying edge more to your work. We have the Arabic alphabet itself, so you can familiarise yourself with the letters. I will begin. To start with, make your lines across the page in pencil, so keep some spacing apart. Next, take your colour pen or your marker and dip it in the colour of your choice. But we are going to begin by making nuktas. And nuktas basically means marking and dots that allow us to make equal spacing between each Arabic letter. And I'm going to begin by doing five nuktas so we can form the alphabet letter Aleph to begin with and then we have five equal diamond shaped squares going straight vertically up. Now we can begin to write Aleph. Take it at a slant, drag it down a little halfway and lighten your pen and just give it a little sharp edge. And that's it. There's your alif. Do take your time to practice each letter at your own pace. Next, we are going to use the letter lam because lam comes after alif in the word Allah. And lam again, we are using five nuktas. Take your time with your nuktas if you may. And this time we are going to flick it to the right just a little before we bring it down. And we're bringing it down like we brought the alif with a sharp edge. Now take your pen again and make three nuktas halfway up the line to so make three nuktas across. Take your pen and go under the three dots and that's basically the lam in the word Allah. Now we are going to do the letter Ha which is the a bit trickier but it's okay. With practice it makes perfect. So we are going to make our nuktas first and we have two nuktas that go down and we have two nuktas that actually taking it a bit 
slightly higher but towards the left going up dip your ink again and start your heart so you do a, a edgy flick underneath the two hearts at the top and curve it round and you're going to make a circle shape through the middle and take it out and flick and that's it these are the three letters of the word Allah but now I'm going to show you how you join them up so your Alif will stay the same so again I will show you with the Nuktas how you do that Then we are going to take our lamb because there are actually two lambs in the word Allah. So you need to take your pen again, make your nuktas if you wish. And you're going to Halfway down, going to straight down to the page, Sorry. up, and then you're going to make two nuktas going across. Take it all the way up. This is your second lamb now, and then take it down. Stop there. Place two nuktas now inside the lamb. Because you are joining, you don't need so much spacing. That's for the that lamb is for the only original lamb. Take it under, up again. So now we are doing the alif. The alif is just straight up. And the next one to do is to bring it down, which is the ha. The ha is going to look different now. That's going to be that ending. So there is two different endings for the letter ha. And we are going to choose that one. So for that one, we need to add two nuktas midway. Dip your ink again. This time take your pen underneath. And you're going over the nuktas and around. And there you go. You want the word Allah in Arabic. Now I'm going to demonstrate for you without using any nuktas. Because once you are very skilled, you won't need to make the nuktas. You would be able to guess. There you go, the word Allah in Arabic. And what I have for you on my wall gallery is another attribute of God's names that I designed myself. And from the Quran, if we open the Quran, we can see clearly that the writing starts from right to left. 
you read it right from left and you write it right from left. Right to left. Thank you so much for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it and just take your time. Be patient and it is very rewarding. So thank you again.